we all saw you in Ukraine and Kyiv. So how does that happen? Because presumably they can't, you know, they don't just tell you to go. Do you mm. volunteer for that or do they ask or how does it happen? First of all, no BBC correspondent is forced to go anywhere. Yeah. Particularly if it's a war zone, you're asked. And if you want to go, you go. If you don't, you don't. And um, it's not going to be a blemish on your record. You're not going to be, you know, done out of a job in the future. It's absolutely your decision. So, interestingly, I get a phone call from the um, deputy editor of the 10 o'clock news, a guy called Johnny Whittaker, and he says, do you fancy going to Ukraine? And I'd just come off the back of doing a pretty big series on COVID in, the, in January uh, this year. And I said, I'm a bit knackered, mate. I really... Oh, God. And he says, well, he's got 150,000 troops on the border. Do you fancy going? I said, oh, I'll think about it. Put down the phone. Went and made a cup of tea. And then I thought, I've never been to Ukraine. <laughs> I've never been. Why not? Why not? <laughs> and he ain't going to invade. Right. He ain't going to invade. God. So I ring him back and I say, yeah, I'll go. Because he ain't going to invade. And Johnny says, no, nah, he ain't going to invade. <laughs> I fly out on the Wednesday. Ryanair, 29.99 from Stansted. <laughs> it's a key. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, your licence fee is safe. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even have a meal. <laughs> We didn't even have a meal. We, yeah, exactly. <laughs> we land, uh, and with brilliant producer Annie Duncanson, we go to a lovely restaurant, have lunch, sun is shining, everybody is out. He ain't gonna invade. Hmm. I then uh, do the six, present the six o'clock news, then present the ten o'clock news, and in between those two bulletins, the atmosphere had changed. Completely changed. And I interviewed Lise Doucette on the roof of uh, our hotel where we were broadcasting live. She was already there. Lee's had al was already there, yeah. Right. Lee's was already there. And um, we agreed that something is up. Uh, Sorry, because you feel that from your contacts, or you feel that yeah. from, like... Yeah. So you're feeling... You, you're getting the word. Ex absolutely, wow. because the President's office had gone quiet. Right. Um, President Zelensky had been pretty forthright in saying they're not going to invade. They're not going to invade. Yeah. Mm. The Americans had put out in the, the intelligence that they had suggesting that he was going to invade, mm. but the suggestion was that they were doing that in order to sort of, you know, make it difficult for them to actually do it. Right. Put the intel out there first. But Zelensky went quiet, and there was a sense that something was up, and Lee's in her live made that clear. That was midnight local time, 10 o'clock here. And I think they invaded about 2.30. Wow. 